Hey guys, welcome back to another, well, it's actually not a multimeter review, it's a review of a different sort. Yes, is it an unboxing? Well, I don't normally do unboxings, but it's kind of an unboxing. I'm kind of excited about this one. Yeah, look at that. You got it. This is the new Pace ADS-200 with the instant setback holder made in the US of A. Yeah, this came in really, really quickly. And I gotta say thanks to the guys out at Access Atronic, especially Frederick. Thanks for all your help. You did a really, really great job in terms of provisioning this and getting it out to me super, super fast. So what do we get in the box? Well, as you can see, all kinds of goodies. I'll just lift this up and we'll just take a quick overhead shot. Some really, really good packaging here. Excellent job. Now, this came with two free soldering tips. Now, one is the Ultra Performance and one is the regular standard. I got the uh, chisel tip for the Ultra, the 1 16th, and the 3.05 millimeter standard tip. So, um, tons of tips for this Pace ADS 200. I know there's been a few reviews, in depth ones. And I'm not gonna go too in depth with this review. I'm just gonna show you what actually comes in the box. Now, this is the, I believe, I feel like it's Christmas time. La 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 la, oh yeah. Okay, look at that. So that's the stand, ISB, what have you. Once again, really nice packaging. Awesome. Oh yeah. Beauty. Okay, that's our little brass sponge. Comes as well as a wet sponge. So you have a wet dry system here. This thing is solid. It is built like a tank, guys and girls. Yeah, this thing is just amazing. Wow, this is quality. Quality, quality, quality. What else is in here? Ah, this is the hot swap to change the soldering tips. And what else do we have here? Of course, we have the soldering iron or the soldering pencil. Yeah, look at this. It is minute. It is so small. Really, really nice. Wow. Wow, this is sort of a rubber, rubberized um, holder here. And the uh, tips, the cartridges themselves, we're just gonna go into there. And yeah, look at that. Awesome. Oh, what else is in here? Ah, once again, this is when the leads are hot so you don't burn yourself. Now we're gonna find the base unit, I'm assuming. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Oh wow, this thing weighs a ton. Oh yeah. And there we are, the ADS 200 in all its beauty. Oh. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Wow, really well packaged. And look at that. Yeah. Made in the USA, that is so nice to see. And I'm Canadian, but I'm telling you, it's great to see stuff that comes right from North America. So there was a time when we did lots of manufacturing in this sector, but um, really nice to see. Just taking that plastic off and wow. Oh yeah, check it out. One very, very slick looking unit. I gotta say, guys, uh, when I saw this initially um, online, some other reviewers, it was, you know, I had my doubts about, you know, what's this unit actually gonna look like? But um, now that I see it, it's very, very nice. 
So I don't think the pictures video actually does it justice. This is a really svelte, chic looking unit. Certainly industrial kind of a look, but almost steampunkish to me. I really like it. So uh, good job, Pace, excellent. As I said, this is gonna be a very short unboxing with the Pace ADS 200. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much more detail on uh, the unit itself. But what I might do is I received this in the mail and this is the new IC for the Pace ADS 200. It's the PLCC chip, 1187-0351. Uh, and it comes with a chip puller as well. Now I'm not sure what the revision is that this unit is shipping with in terms of the actual chip. I will find that out. But I don't believe it is shipping with the latest and greatest Rev E. Now the revision E is the latest firmware update from uh, Pace for the ADS 200, and uh, it's gonna gonna make quite a quite a difference. Um, I think the display resolution is now gonna be uh, in one degree increments rather than five degree in increments, and. Um, yeah, it'll actually show the correct temperature. So if it's 352 or 353 degrees, that's what's going to display instead of 350 or 355, what have you. Um, as well, the uh, ISB, the Instant Setback Tool Stand here. Um, now it's going to be able to be programmed to be truly instant. Um, so you can actually, I believe, set it down to one second increments um, from zero. So as soon as you put it into the setback stand, um, uh, boom for the minimum setting I think was like 15 seconds uh, so yeah lots of uh, lots of good stuff with this firmware update I think there was some interesting display screen uh, issues as well um, with the older firmware and I think they modified the code so now um, all these interesting screen updates that were happening when you turn the unit on uh, apparently they've uh, been able to fix that so I don't know, I'm excited, and it's gonna be a, a pretty decent upgrade. Now I've got a fairly decent Weller station um, that I've been using for a while, happy with, but I mean, this is just a different league all to itself, this Pace ADS 200, so um, yeah, it should be fun. Just to give you some perspective, you can see just how much larger the Pace ADS 200 is compared to even the Weller West 51, or those uh, cheap Chinese knockoffs, the best 939 and the 937D. Yeah, literally that pace is almost twice the size. All right, so we have the Pace ADS 200. This is the original firmware that it is shipping with. And right now it's set to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, actually 550, and there you go, pretty quick. So we are going to pull that chip and put in the new Rev-E. So the new revision E of the firmware has been gently inserted into place. The old chip was a revision C, so two revisions off, but uh, not that bad. Pace included a chip puller for this uh, upgrade. Um, thank you, Pace. That always comes in handy, and it definitely made it a lot more seamless. Okay, so the new firmware is installed. Let's boot it up, see what happens. 1-4 as opposed to 1-2. And 550 is the uh, setting that it is currently adjusted to. And there we go. That was really fast. So all is great after the firmware upgrade. Stay tuned. I will definitely have updates on the Pace ADS 200.